Hello everyone, this is Vijay and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss some important results of group theory and these results are useful for the students who are preparing for CPZ, HU and all other university entrance examination. So guys, before going to the today's session, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me in Telegram for more updates. Now let's have a look into the today's session. Now see the first result here, the number of generators of cyclic group. The number of generators of cyclic group, Z, P raised to R, addition modulo P raised to R is, P raised to R minus 1, P minus 1. Here this is an important result, what is given? The number of generators of cyclic group. If the group is in the form, Z P raised to R, addition modulo P raised to R, here P is a prime number. Then the number of generators of cyclic group order is, P raised to R minus 1 into P minus 1. See the problem here. Find the number of generators of cyclic group Z32 addition modulo 32. And what is given? P raised to R means prime number raised to some integer. Here 32 is given. What do we write? It is 2 to the power of 5. 32 can be written as 2 to the power of 5. So it becomes cyclic group becomes Z2 raised to 5 comma addition modulo 2 raised to 5. Okay. From this what we observe? Here P value is 2 and R value is 5. P value is 2 and R value is 5. Okay. Now substitute these values in the formula. 2 raised to 5 minus 1 into P value is 2. So here what we write? 2 minus 1. 2 raised to 5 minus 1 is 2 raised to 4. 2 to the power of 4 into 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 16 into 1 is 16. Okay. Here the number of generators of cyclic group Z32 with addition module 32 is 16. So remember this is the most important result. Okay. See the second result, the number of generators of cyclic group. Here what you have to find, same, the number of generators of the cyclic group. If the given group is in the form ZPQ with addition modulo PQ. Here the first one is P raised to R, prime number raised to some integer. Here P into Q, here P and Q are the prime numbers. Then the formula to find the number of generators of cyclic group is P minus 1 into Q minus 1. Here these two are the problems of finding number of generators of cyclic group. But observe the cyclic groups are in different form here Z P raised to R, here Z P Q. Okay. Now see this problem. Find the number of generators of cyclic group Z 85 with the addition modulo 85. So here what is given modulo value is 85. It can be written as 17 into 5. 17 into 5. Here 17 and 5. These two are the prime numbers. 17 and 5 are the prime numbers. So from this what we observe P value is 17 and Q value is 5. P value is 17 and Q value is 5. So what is the formula to find the number of generators of the cyclic group ZPQ with addition modulo PQ is P minus 1 into Q minus 1. This is a product of P minus 1 and Q minus 1. So write the values here. 17 minus 1 into 5 minus 1. 17 minus 1 is 16 into 5 minus 1 is 4. So 16 into 4 equal to what we get here? 65. Yes, the number of generators of cyclic group Z85 with addition modulo 85 is 64. So remember these two are the most important results to find the number of generators of the cyclic group. Now let's see the another important result. Now let's see a third result. Let G equals to A1, A2, so on, AK, where A are disjoint cycles. The permutation G equals to what we have A1 into A2 into so on AK where these all A are disjoint cycles. Including that of length 1. Here what we include? Including the cycle of length 1 also. Let alpha i equals to number of cycles of length i. What is the alpha i value? Number of cycles of length i. Therefore the formula to find the number of permutations of type G is n factorial by 1 raised to alpha 1 into 2 raised to alpha 2 into 3 raised to alpha 3 so on alpha 1 factorial into alpha 2 factorial so on okay so by using this formula we find the permutations okay now let's see a problem what is given g equals to a b c d e which is belongs to symmetric group s5 here what is given permutation g equals here we have two design cycles a b and c d e Find the total number of permutations of G type. What is the given function G? So what we find number of permutations of G type. The function F is given. We find the number of permutations of F type. So first find the N value. What is the N value here? 
the given group is s5 so the n value is 5 so the n value is 5 okay here yeah, alpha 1 equals to number of cycles of length 1 alpha 1 equals to number of cycles of length 1 here we don't have any cycle of length 1 here we don't have any cycle of length 1 so alpha 1 is equals to 0 next alpha 2 equal to same number of cycles of length 2 number of cycles of length 2 here observe the question here we have only one cycle ab here this length of the cycle is 2 so the number of cycles of length 2 2 is alpha 2 equals to 1 next alpha 3 alpha 3 equals to what is the value number of cycles of length 3 is observe the question here we have only one cycle of length 1 so alpha 3 is equals to 1 alpha 3 is equals to 1 and n value is 5 alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is 1 alpha 3 is 1 substitute all these values in this formula we get the total number of permutations of g type now see here n factorial means i am writing here n factorial means 5 factorial by 1 raised to alpha 1 to 1 raised to 0 into 2 raised to 1 into 3 raised to 1 into here alpha 1 factorial means 0 factorial 1 factorial into 1 factorial alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is 1 alpha 3 is 1 here 1 to the power of 0 is 1 0 factorial is 1 if you multiply all these values you get here 2 factorial into 3 factorial means 6 so 5 factor means 120 by 6. 120 by 6. Cancel the values. What we get here? Here 20 permutations of G type exist here. Here 20 permutations of G type exist in the group S5. Okay. This is the most important result of group theory. Now let's see the some important points of the center of the group. Now let's see the some important points of the center of the group. Here we represent the center of the group as Z of G. Z of G means here center of the group. Now see the first one. If Z of G is abelian subgroup of G. Here remember Z of G. Center of the group is abelian subgroup of group G. Center of the group is always abelian subgroup of group G. That means here, if X belongs to Z of G, if any element is belongs to Z of G and Y is belongs to G, then always what do we write? X, Y is equals to Y, X. X, Y equals to Y, X. So, Z of G always satisfies abelian property. So, what we say here? Z of G is a abelian subgroup. Z of G is a abelian subgroup of group G. See the next one. Z of G equals to G if and only if G is abelian. So center of the group is equals to group by the group by the group abelian group If Z of G equals to G, if and only if G is an abelian. If G is abelian, Z of G equals to G. If Z of G equals to G, G is an abelian. What is Z of G? Center of the group. Okay, see the third one. If G is cyclic, then center of the group is equals to group. If G is cyclic group, if G is cyclic group, then Z of G is equals to G. But converse need not be true. Converse need not be true. That means if G is cyclic group, then always Z of G is equals to G. Z of G equals to G. If Z of G equals to G, then G is need not be cyclic. If Z of G equals to G, then G is need not be cyclic. The third one is the most important one. If G is cyclic, then Z of G equals to G. But converse need not be true. See the fourth one. G has exactly one element. If G has exactly one element of order 2, then the element of order 2 is a member of Z of G. If G is a group, if it has an element of order 2, for example, if A is an element of G, order of the element is 2, order of an element is 2, then that element of order 2 is member of Z of G. Then A is always member of center of the group. Here, <laughs> Here A is an element of the group G and order of an element is 2. Then an element of order 2 is always member of center of the group. Okay. Now let's see the last point. Z of G1 into G2 into Gn. Here we have the product of the groups. So it is isomorphic to Z of G1 into Z of G2 into last one is Z of Gn. Here we multiply individually. So these are the most important points of the center of the group. 
in next session we will discuss some more points and results of the group theory thank you